Whenever you're ready. All right, guys. Instructor Z here, Coach James, back at the Henzo Gracie Clarksville Academy, and uh, we're doing it big for you here. So we're gonna add a few details, or Z-tails as I like to call them, from, or for the Kimura. For the Kimura, right? Everybody loves a Kimura, everybody loves reverse Kimura. There's Kimura traps out there. Love it. Everybody loves it, man. And to tell you the truth, the more I learn about it, the more I understand why everybody loves it and why it's so big in the BJJ uh, community as far as the online presence and what people are trying to show you, right? The Kimura is very strong. Not only is it a, a submission that you can use, but it becomes a handle on your opponent. If all I can get to is, like, he's just so good and I, and I can't get to his hips and wrap those things up or get to a leg like I want, I'll get to this arm and I'll pin it and make it a part of his, his structure overall. So one thing right off the bat, get it through your mind as far as the concept of a Kimura. It's not always a finish. Sometimes it's the pathway to a finish because I use it to control their body. And I'll show you just what I mean right here from the bottom side half of our position. So many guys, they get in this position where they get, and we talked about this before, I didn't let him control this position uh, or too much of this inner space for me. He's gotten past my knee shield, but maybe I wanted him to. He still doesn't have an underhook. He's just drinking around my back, and I'm fighting for this wrist control here, not letting him get around the corner and all the way up on my hips like he would want to to control me better, right? So I'm maintaining some semblance of control with this space. So from this position, and everybody probably identifies this as a spot where I might go for a Kimura. Here's the problem. A lot of people, especially white belts, calling you out, saying, I did the same thing, right? Um, they try to go for this Kimura, and they lock it down, and they think, I've, I've got the connection, I've got the figure four grip, thumbless grip, and I'm real strong here, and I pinned it to him. This should be it, I should be able to finish this, and I'm yanking and yanking, and he ends up just sitting up, posting on my hip with his right arm, and doing an uppercut or something like that, and it starts hurting my arm, and I'm like, ugh. And I did a lot of work, and I get real tired. And you know what the problem is? Well, what makes all the other submissions work? Most of the time, it's controlling their posture, their body, controlling the rest of them as I isolate a limb or a neck or something of that nature, right? I have to control the rest of them. Look, how much control do I have over him here? I don't have, I have a leg. He can't run away from me, per se, but as far as his posture and his overall power from his hips goes, I have no control, right? Now, there's different ways to finish this, and I'm not gonna go too far into it, but if, I, if he kind of caught sniffing and I brought my leg out with that arm, and I brought this leg over, yeah, see the difference here? I've got his posture control, and I've got the figure four grip, so I have the ability to, so if he tries to lift up now and do an uppercut, he's not doing it, right? I've got his posture control, and I got him broke down, so now I'm not fighting all of this anymore, but my legs took control of that, I'm just fighting this. That's a lot harder to get to uh, than you think. So I'm not really gonna focus on getting my leg over his head, right? That's usually when he really messes up and puts us up in a bad spot. It's hard to come by. So let's talk about how can I get this Kimura position, which I get a lot because this guy thinks that, hey, he gets a Kimura lock on me. That's not the end of the world. And he's like, he starts, starts, tries to straighten up and posture up. But instead of like wrapping this up and pulling it tight, I wanna pin it to his hip. I'm pushing away from me. Is your wrist all right? No. I'm pushing away, away from me into his hip. Go ahead and posture up, James. That's as far as I can go. All right? So this is not hurting me at all because I'm not pulling this to take his arm away. I'm pushing it to him to connect to his hips. Now it's part of his body. Now, as he, I can even let him out of my half guard. He can go around and I can roll him and I can roll up and come into his back depending on what he does. Let's go back. I've got a lot of opportunities there to, to mess with this base, right? So stop worrying about trying to get the submission when you haven't got the position yet. Now, I know that's cliche, position before submission, but that's exactly why. If I don't have control of him, of this big strong body, and I'm trying to beat that arm, it's not gonna work. He's not just gonna say, all right, you got my arm, it's over. I gotta control all of him, right? So forget about the submission right now. Worry about the position. I'm on bottom. It'd be better if I was on top. One more time. Let's turn over here facing the camera and look. I'm pinning this to his body and getting that Kimura grip and I'm pushing into his hip. Pushing into it, right? Now, even if he passes my half guard, 
right? It doesn't really matter as long as I keep pushing that into a zip, keep pushing and walk myself around. Come back up now. I can also, if he starts fighting too hard, that's when I can swing my hips out and I can come in and attack here. Control his body, turn this into arm bars, doing other things, all right? So, a bonus tip, the same way that I did that, is what I do if we're standing up and I get that standing camera, like he goes for a single leg, gets on my, on my single leg or on my leg, I push it into his hip and I got control there. I control his hips. I've made, think about like a, a coffee cup, that, the handle coming off of a coffee cup, it controls the whole cup. That's what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make a coffee cup concept here. Hit it to it, control that whole cup or body with that handle versus trying to take the handle off of it where I lose control of the body, right? So pin it to him and make him move. Affect his base. If he makes mistakes and I end up getting on top and I still got that arm, guess what's gonna happen then? You'll have to check it out next video and you'll see what happens. So that's all we got. Check out Facebook. Uh, anything to add, Coach Sam? No. See you on the next video. All right.